Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy, I'm Nick Ark, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I thought it'd be a cool idea to rank all these soccer skins in Fortnite. So I hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you do, make sure you drop a like on it, and do not forget to let me know down below in the comments your order of the soccer skins. Which one do you like the least, and which one do you like the most, or your top three? Let me know your thoughts on this down below in the comments. Without further ado, it's your boy, Nick Arg, and let's get right into our shout subs. So my two sub shoutouts in this video goes to Zach Messi 1031 underscore YouTube. Thank you so much for coming to the channel. And also shout out to my man T Doritus12345. I think I'm saying that right. Thank you both for subscribing to the channel. If you want to be these guys that I shout out in my future videos, make sure you hit that big red button there that says subscribe. Without further ado, it's your boy Guard. Let's get right into ranking all of these soccer skins. So for all you guys that don't know this, these soccer skins came out last night, and I would say if you're going to copy skins, use code on the guard, but I don't have a code yet. I applied January. January 18th, haven't got anything back yet, so Epic Games, if you're somehow watching this video, I know you want to give me one, I did everything you wanted to do, my channel is completely fine, come on, I, I know what you're thinking. Alrighty, so coming at our number 8 spot, we have the Dynamic Dribbler. This skin right here, as you can see right now, it looks like this right here. To be honest, I don't even think it looks like a soccer player. I don't even like the look of it. And I've never seen anybody with this skin in-game on my team ever kill me. I've never seen this skin in-game. So that's why it's coming at our number 8 spot. But the number 7 spot I have for you guys is the Aerial Threat. This skin right now, as you can see, it looks like the Battlehawk skin from, I think it was Season 5 Battle Pass or Season 4 Battle Pass. And I just don't think it looks good in general. I don't know. These are the two skins that I absolutely positively will not buy, but if you are buying them, then you obviously can buy it. I'm not stopping you, but those are the two skins coming in number 8 and number 7 that I don't think look that nice in my opinion. So coming in at our number 6 spot, we have the Super Striker. This skin right here, personally, I really wouldn't buy it, but it's not a bad skin in general. I just think it's been used, like the textures have been used too much, the look has been used too much. So if you guys are buying it, I know I see this skin every now and then. So if you're buying it, you can always buy it. I personally wouldn't buy it. That's why it's coming in at my number 6 spot. But the number 5th spot I have for you guys is the Midfield Maestro. Even though I said something about the aerial threat that looks like a skin, this skin, even though it looks like a lot of other skins... I just like the look of it. So, and it generally looks like a soccer player. So that's why it's coming in on my number fifth spot. I think it looks pretty nice. I don't know what you guys think, but that's why I think it looks pretty nice. So coming in my number fourth spot, I have the Stalwart Sweeper. This skin right here, personally, I think it looks really nice. And on top of that, it looks like a legit soccer player. Like the whole hair and the body, it fits the skin perfectly. And on top of that, I haven't really seen this skin reused. I think it comes with that uh, sushi skin. But, um, but other than that, I can't really see this skin being used in any other way. So it's original skin. I personally really, really like it. But the next skin I have for you guys, uh, coming in my number three spot, is the Poised Playmaker. This skin right here, I think it looks really, really nice. And when you think of a soccer player skin, you probably think of this skin or my number two and number one spot. So I don't really gotta say much about it. This skin's really nice. I know a lot of you guys probably have it, but let's just get right into my number two and my number one spots. So the next skin I have for you guys coming in on my number two spot is the Finesse Finisher. This skin, probably when you think of soccer skins, you think of the um, the Poise Playmaker, this skin, or my number one skin. So this skin, in my opinion, I think it legit looks like a soccer player as well. I don't know. I like it a lot. I really got to say much about it. The blonde hair adds a little bit of cool effect to it because it's the only skin with blonde hair out of the whole entire soccer skin. So I like it a lot. I don't know what you guys think about it, but coming in my number one spot is the Critical Crosser. The reason why I like the skin so much and why the Poise Playmaker isn't in my number one spot but it's because I like the default skin, like the default skin of this girl. I like that a lot. Personally, if I get a default skin, I would want that skin. And it looks exactly like it. It looks really good. That's why it's at my number one spot at these soccer skins. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I just want to let you guys know my opinion on ranking these soccer skins. Let me know down below in the comments if you liked my like my ranking or if you have any rankings of your own, your top three. Let me know down below in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new, guys. If you made it this far into the video and you are not subscribed yet, I don't know what you're doing. Make sure with that big red button there that's subscribed. Without further ado, it's your boy Nick Garg, and I'll talk to you guys in a couple hours with a brand new stream or a brand new upload, but it's going to be both. I'll see you guys there. I can't wait. Peace.